Podcast with meteorologist Beverly Perry, only on Fox 47 Morning News at 7. Well, we had plenty of sunshine yesterday that really helped to boost our temperatures into the 80s. 84 the high in Lansing and Charlotte. Ionia, though, 87 degrees. Meanwhile, in Jackson, they saw a high of 84 degrees. Now, we're starting the morning off more in the ways of some cloud cover. But don't be fooled by this. Is what I like to call filtered sunshine. So we still have some sunshine out there, and we'll see a few passing clouds as we go throughout the day today. But if you haven't stepped outside, you may have noticed it's pretty warm out there. 65 currently in Lansing, 64 in Howell and Jackson, and it is 63 degrees in Hillsdale. Now, dew points, well, there's also a big difference from where we were at yesterday. They're mostly in the 50s, and we're going to keep cranking these up as the days go on. Today, you're actually going to be feeling a difference. You're going to feel some of that humidity out there, and by the end of the work week, it's going to be feeling pretty muggy. Temperature by 10 o'clock, we're looking to be right around the mid 70s, maintaining a southwesterly wind about 5 to 10 miles per hour. That's going to help to usher in some warmth and even some more moisture for us. By lunchtime, we're looking at the upper 70s and we'll be topping out right near 84 degrees. And again, we will see some cloud cover out there today, partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies. We have a boundary nearby and that may touch off just a few isolated showers or maybe some thunderstorms, but that chance will be holding off towards this afternoon. We have more showers and thunderstorm activity off to our west. So you know what? This isn't done just yet. So through the 10 o'clock hour, all is looking quiet. We will have a few passing clouds out there, maintaining that southwesterly wind about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now things change once we get towards the afternoon hours, but it'll be late afternoon is when that we're anticipating this, right around 3, 4 o'clock. But notice, these are very isolated showers, hit and miss. Some locations will see shower activity, maybe a thunderstorm. Other locations may see some sunshine. So it's going to be on a very hit and miss base. And even as we go into the evening hours, we do still stand a chance of seeing those hit and miss showers. Much like that, we're going to see that tomorrow as well. High temperatures will still be in the 80s for tomorrow. Some showers will be around hit and miss shower activity, maintaining that southerly wind, keeping that moisture around, pumping in more moisture actually. So it's going to be even more humid as we go through Thursday. And looks like Thursday will also be a partly cloudy day for us. So we go through Friday still looking like the same. We're going to see those hit and miss light shower activity. Also seeing some sunshine too. Now, as far as the threat for severe weather, we're in the general thunderstorm risk for today. Mostly this afternoon, the anticipation of severe weather is still well off to our west. Now, as we go into Thursday, there's that small chance maybe we could get a gusty thunderstorm. But again, we're still in the marginal risk and we're really not anticipating any widespread activity. If anything, it'll be very isolated. 84 for us today, partly cloudy, and then we'll see an afternoon thunderstorm. It will be isolated. And then tonight, the overnight low falls to about 65 degrees. So we're really not going to see our temperatures drop a whole lot. Scattered showers, maybe a few isolated thunderstorms will be around. Much like the case for the rest of the extended forecast through the weekend. Temperature wise, 81 for Thursday, mid 80s for Friday. And again, these hit and miss shower activity will still see some sunshine in between these. Nonetheless, temperatures and then humidity ramp up for Friday and Saturday. And then once we approach Memorial Day, it looks like right now we may have a dry spot, but we'll definitely keep you posted on that. Temperature wise, 82.